I really like generating images on Sora, but that yellow orangey tint that kind of plagues them is a bit annoying, so I decided to fix it. So what I'm going to do today is show you a super quick and easy way to hopefully get rid of this um, colour tint on any images that you like and uh, make sure that they look a little bit cleaner and a little more colour balanced. And it's super simple, anyone can do it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the well you're going to go to the description box in this email and download a free file that i've created that is a lut file um, and it's called yellowfix.cube is the actual file name and it's basically a color correction file i've created a custom color correction file that we're going to quickly apply in a minute to hopefully fix that problem so once you've downloaded that and you've saved it on your hard drive or wherever i want you to go to photop.com it's a url it's a free website so photopea.com and it's basically a free photoshop alternative online i'm not going to go into it now this is a tutorial for this but even if you've never used photoshop you don't know what you're doing in it don't worry because this process is so simple you're going to be able to follow along super quick so you need to do two things now once you're seeing the same screen as me here you need to first drag an image on just you can just drag an image from your desktop or wherever on your computer into the main screen here let go and it'll load it and then the file that you downloaded from the description the yellowfix.cube i want you to get that and drag that onto the image as well now the first time you do this it may come up with a message saying do you want to keep this file in um, photo P's local storage or something like that if it comes up with any message like that just click yes and it just means that it, you won't have to do it every time you um, load a new image so now once you've done those two things you're gonna go and click on this little icon here in the top right that looks like a grid and um, if you hover your mouse over it says color lookup and this is how we actually load that file because we've already dragged it into the screen a minute ago it's automatically loaded it in so what we need to do now is click this little triangle and there it is there yellowfix.cube click on that get rid of that screen and now we've got that as an adjustment layer on top and so you can see that's the before and that's with the fix now because it's an adjustment layer we can highlight the layer and we can adjust the opacity so basically we can drop that down if we don't want the effect as severe or if we've only got an image that is very slightly yellow and we can want to knock it back and alt um and consequently if you've got an image that is really yellow and you really need to double it up you can literally double this up by clicking on the layer pressing Control and j and it will double the effect now it's got two lots on top now this is far too much for this image it's made it go to blue but you could maybe drop the opacity of the second layer to 50 percent and now you've effectively got 150 percent of that adjustment being applied to the whole image now all you have to do to save the image you're happy with it now if you like what you see you just go to file export as choose your file format and then just tell it where to save it and it's as easy as that.